How are you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you. Been a minute. Yeah, nice seeing you. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to bring the H2R or the H2, but you said it's a Bimoto Tessie H2R. Yeah, I was wrong. It's okay. Bimoto H2SP. Okay, okay. One of five of them in the world. Holy. I don't think I've seen anything that is an SP. That's actually, there's only five in the world? Five in the world. Oh, that's way more rare than mine then. Yeah. That is nuts. This is crazy. No, this is definitely because I've seen the Bimoto Tessie, the H2. This definitely looks different. Yep. This definitely looks different. I'm not gonna lie, straight up, I wasn't a fan when I first saw him. Me too. I thought like kind of like, yeah. But when you tell me there's only five of them and I see all this carbon, which I don't think is on the regular one, that's why. So this looks a lot better just from seeing it right now. Yesterday has uh, an H2, but it's the regular one, so it has the red and black and white paint job on it. And oh, the, the Tessie, you mean? Tessie okay, yeah. Like, oh, it's not anywhere near. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm not the only one. I was like, not to be disrespectful, but that one, I was like, nah, they butchered it, but yeah, this is cool. It's clean, it looks like a, yeah. Bro, what is this race seat? Right? This is crazy. It's nicer in other places, we just not on the freeway. Funny because I say usually it's the other way with my H and the H2R because I don't know about this one But these bikes are kind of like they're heavy and jerky. Yeah. So it's more fun when you're going fast Does this thing have well? Yeah, the reverse swing arm and all that yeah. It's crazy. No, I'm, I'm I love carbon so I'm obsessed with like that thing didn't come with as much carbon So I added a lot more I was gonna do a full carbon build, but I felt like it will take away from the bike, yeah. so I, I did a mixture, but like now it has a lot more, but this is like like full carbon pretty much This is really cool These are these wings on the other one too? Yes I Interesting. I don't know what about maybe the design of it. This looks way more like crazy Yeah. But hey, at least it has headlights <laughs> Right <laughs> yeah, and I'm assuming it has fans too because it has headlights. See, that's the issue with that one. That's why I wasn't sure about it. No headlights and no fans. Uh, yeah, when I saw, I've seen one of these, when I saw it, yeah. I didn't even look too much because I'm like, eh, you know. Yeah, and they're like the numbers right here and everything. That's cool. This is crazy. Yeah, I didn't know there's an SP model. So that's a first. A lot of people are going to learn that there's an SP model too now. So that's good. The Lambo. What do you think about this? Yeah, it's clean. I'm not big fan on on naked bikes. You know what I mean? Oh, they have three of them here. <laughs> okay, nice meeting you. Beautiful bike. <laughs> How you doing? Long time no see. We just brought some of the rarest bikes in the world. Not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know there was an SP model, oh, yeah. so that's already news. Mm -hmm. Putting that next to my H2R, that's already going to be crazy. Yeah, Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, 330. I love the videos where they're shooting flames out the back. Yeah, yeah. But that, yeah, we definitely need to, at some point, move that, have them next to each other. That's going to look insane. That's the one, there's only five in the world? I've literally never even heard of it. That's how crazy it is. I've heard the Bimoto Tessie, but not the SP. Started making them in 2020. Kawasaki brought 49% of the motor. This is the first of their collaboration that they produced. I say that looks kind of like the supercharger on yeah, the H2R. The H2R. That's what's in here. That's and then cool. it has no chassis. All of the aluminum is cut from for one block of building, so there's no welds anywhere in the aluminum. Yeah. You get the swing arms, the skeleton arms, yeah. so it's a lightweight. So it's got like 293 horsepower, but it's 50 pounds lighter than the record age too. So it's 440 wet. Oh yeah. It's 440 wet? So it's a little lighter than your arm. Wait, you mean 340 then? This is this is 375 it's 400 so this is 440 you said yeah. this is 475 i'm sorry you're you're correct yeah, but H2 is a 500. yeah the h2 is 550 more than this yeah yeah definitely x14 weight yeah yeah i got mixed up with, there's too many now because there's the super legeras which are in the 300s yeah. and then the 400 and the 500 so that's why it's like all over yeah 
it's Super hard to trust my memory on this stuff. There's so many bikes in so many years. Yeah, he uh, rode the one that we sold here last home. Uh, <laughs> oh, Super Leger? Yeah, nice. Yeah, I've been very on the fence on the Super Leger for a long time, but I'm not gonna lie, from riding that and a V4R, it's not worth the price difference. Unless you're getting it because it's super legera. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're getting it for that reason, 100%. Like, yeah, it's the craziest and most expensive ever from all brands. 440, that's crazy. Thir 35? Yeah, that's 35 pounds lighter than that, which is crazy to say. Because that's the whole point is that's to track bike and it's like super light. Because it's 50, the H2 is 525 wet. This is 475. Huh? 475 yes, 475. So it's 50 pounds. So this is an, an extra 35 on top. That's crazy. Yeah, than an H2, regular H2. 85. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> and given the fact that it has like pretty much all, like 300 horsepower. Yeah. The power to weight ratio on it is crazy. Yeah. I mean, if that's 475 and 330 horsepower, and that's. Well, they're probably 280 on MotoGP bikes. Horsepower? That's crazy. About these are way lighter, no? Aren't they in the 300s? Lighter, yeah. yeah. You guys don't have a super legit. Oh, oh my God! You know, if you if you had the V4J, that would have been insane. Oh yeah, the blue one. Yeah, I gotta go appreciate these bikes next to each other. That looks. That's a sight. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, boys. Yeah, this is, this is great. I'm glad I brought the H2R and not the H2. <laughs> This is more fitting for sure, especially that this is like an SP model, so... Yeah, now you guys got me thinking about one of these, assuming I can find one if there's only five. You found one. He's looking to sell it. This one? Yeah. I gotta ask, how much? That's a good question. I don't even know. Okay. He's the one to ask. The fact that it's street legal, you know what I mean, and uh... Like I was planning on, I was literally talking about it before I got here, I was like planning on installing fans. So the fans on the H2, yep. probably the same fans as these, yep. are actually plug and play with the H2R, is what I was informed. Uh, so thankfully I can supposedly just plug them in and it should work, which is great. I don't care about the headlight, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm not going to be riding it at night as much. I did one time and that was really sketch yeah, <laughs> with no headlights. No, we'll definitely talk price. I'll do some more research because I'm assuming this is, if not the same price, then more expensive than the R. Yep. It is more? Yeah. Okay, do you know how much it is, like, MSRP? Let me look I it up. I think he paid, like, around 80. 80? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's 20 more than the yeah. H2R. Yeah. This yeah. says, uh, 64 euros, which is 75. Yeah, so he paid around that much. Yeah. Right? And of course, that's, like, sticker besides, you know. Exactly. Yeah, I get it. And I don't know if it's the same, but I feel like the tail of this bike is very different than the other one. Like, yeah, they use the same tail light, but the entire tail design is different. Yeah, it looks a The only issue with me is because it's content, correct? Right. What can you do to this? You can't do anything. Can't do anything. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. So if I if I get it, I'm only get, it. huh? You put a sticker on it. A sticker, yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll put like a, I'll remove this and put a K logo <laughs> right here. That's all I can do. It's <laughs> this logo right here. Right. That's all I can do to it. Perfect. All right. <laughs> That's a thing. Yeah, yeah cause I gotta think about like how much content can I make with that for the price? You know what I mean? Exactly. But speaking collection wise that would be crazy a i'm not gonna lie I'd all the signatures of everybody who made it all the people that are part of the manufacturing of the bike that is awesome how many miles are on it he's riding this fish though almost five thousand. okay 5, it got some miles on it Nobody is riding this. Oh yeah, 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 100%. I'm the same way with almost all my bikes, especially like the crazy ones like these. Yeah. Forget about it. I don't care who you are, you ain't riding I these. I you guys would get along because y'all have the same kind of mentality. Like yeah. I'm buying a bike, I'm gonna ride it. Oh yeah, 100%. I, I respect that. I mean, this thing, I only got it like three months ago. It only has 300 miles on it. But that's also because like, there's only so much I can do right. with it. Exactly. You know, like, I want to ride it, but... As you saw, like there, it's wide. It's you know, wide. I don't have. Splitting is not easy. Exactly. Don't have any mirrors? Yeah, no mirrors, no fans, no headlights. So I'm pretty limited with it. So it's like, if it's worth it, like this. Exactly. You know, I wasn't even sure. I didn't know about that speed. I wasn't even sure. But I was like, whatever. I haven't ridden in a while. Let's ride it. Yeah. Yeah. Feel? This one? Yeah. I. It's so much better than the H2. Oh, I can tell. 
Yeah, it's smoother, yeah. but it feels faster. What's your favorite bike right now in your closet, in your, in your garage? I, I gotta say, like all, if to ride or all time? For, to ride. To ride V4R. The V4R? Yeah. Bro, like for the price, I'm not gonna lie, especially with the build that I've done on it. Yeah. It's pretty much like full carbon at this point. It doesn't feel like the Super Legera. Right. Uh, my plan is to make a hundred thousand dollar bike right now. It's sitting at like 90 95,000. So I'm close like hey, yeah are. I've spent a lot of money uh, So I'm doing forks on it. Okay. So that's that'll jump it up like it up. yeah I literally dropped off some parts today I think I'm taking it either tomorrow or after tomorrow to get a new part I'm gonna save the rest of the battery for the actual ride and all that stuff But this is crazy honestly like you're having such a good time like that's what I always tell people that like it sucks sometimes like that i'm riding this because i can't see it right because seeing these bikes on the road hits different oh yeah like when like friends or people i know have like bikes like so i can't stare at it. i'm like holy this is on the road i'm seeing it first exactly. yeah all right i'm excited to ride with this thing i'm gonna stop recording take this off and we can hang out and figure out what the plan is this is crazy honestly i'm a little tempted to make the ride a separate video in case i do make it a separate video or a super long video i hope you guys enjoy this video <laughs> please drop a like and subscribe and subscribe for the next video because i don't want to make the video too long since this is all talking about the bike and stuff like that but what do you guys think would you guys be interested i would be down to sell like two three bikes and get this one since it's for sale like dead serious it's a little high mileage for me personally i usually get bikes that are like under but it's definitely doable how are you doing it's been a while. It has been a bit. <laughs> Where's the Ducati events? Appreciate you. Thank you very much. We do them once a month. Yeah. Okay. I'll bring the H2R to the next one, hopefully. Or the V4R. I don't know. V4R. V4R. You got Ducati, of course. I can't crash it with the yeah, Kawi. Yeah. I could? Okay. I got verified. <laughs> you like anything with two wheels. Especially awesome. A little more on the rare side. So. Yeah. I mean, this is, as I was telling you, this is as rare as it gets right now. Motor for, the motor's for sure. And though, you don't see those on the street. Yeah. Well, this is the R. You got so the issue with it is that I don't have fans, so I can't just casually ride it. No fans or headlights or, you know. I'll take it to the next Ducati event. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think? Should we get that Tessie H2 SP? I would definitely be willing to sell some of my bikes to get this thing. It's definitely an option I want to see on the road uh, and all of that before making that decision. But it's definitely an option because you guys know me, I like really rare bikes. And this is like the pinnacle of rare bikes. So it's definitely a possibility. Let me know that in the comments. So I gotta, you guys got to watch and like these videos for me to get something like this. Because as you heard, it's like an $80,000 bike. So it's not cheap at all. But... Instead of collecting too many bikes, have less bikes that are more rare, I think is more cool, fun, possibly. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think. And stay tuned for the ride, which is coming up probably tomorrow, since this is going to be a two-part video. Just because I'm talking a lot about these and the differences. But yeah, 300 horsepower, 440 pounds, 330 horsepower, but 475 pounds. So 35 pounds lighter, 30 more horsepower. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, mine is definitely uh, closer to that weight, actually, because of all the modifications I've done to it. The carbon fiber full subframe, the lithium battery, that's five pounds right there. All the carbon fiber, all the titanium bolts, and there's a lot more coming, so. All right. Stay tuned for the ride with these two crazy vehicles.